I want to welcome everyone again today to another demo on Creo Parametric. Today what we're going to look at in this demo is exploding an assembly, i.e. pulling the assembly apart. Um, so for one of our previous exercises, again using the 77 race car as our model, we assembled various components together, basically a valve assembly. And now what we like to do is pull this assembly apart so we can actually have a 3D or a 2D three-dimensional slash 2D, 2D drawing that we can use on our sheets, if you will, for a bill of materials, our bombs, and also create balloons, in this case, for downstream use. So we'll start out in this case by opening the assembly, which we already have, and let's create a new state, in this case, an exploded state. I'm just going to keep it the EXP01 name, and now let's edit the state to allow us to start, in this case, pulling these components apart. So you can either choose the edit button, I can right click edit position, but either of these methods will go into editing. Now depending on if you want to show animation or not, you may want to pull these parts or disassemble this assembly in the order it was put together or reverse order if you will, if you want to show motion. And I'll illustrate that in a little bit. But basically here to start pulling components apart, I just select a component. And what will appear is a coordinate system, an XYZ axis. And simply just move over one of those axes, hold the left mouse button down, and just drag. Now if you want to rotate, what you can do is actually change from translating to rotate, choosing an axis to rotate about. In this case, I turned on my A1 axis. And then simply rotate the handle in the degree that you want to rotate. And then we can go to the next component. Now let's say you would like to move components with children, group them together, i.e. the cover plate and these three bolts that sit on the cover plate. Well I'm going to go to my options tab, choose move with children, and just select the cover plate. Now when I move the cover plate, the cover plate will move, so will its children. Now if the bolts were created using a pattern, if you choose one bolt and then move again that bolt, those bolts move in the pattern. Or you could simply hold the control key and then choose all of your bolts and move those independently. Now let's go move these other elements down in the internal part, the internal cavity of the body. Now if I choose one of those surfaces on this gold slash bronze part, it's going to actually translate normal to the surface. I don't want that. I want to translate normal to the actual ring of the body part. So what I'm going to do in this example is set up a motion reference. Now I could go up to the ribbon, to the dashboard, and choose my references, or to illustrate again, one of Creo's shortcut methods, right click and just choose motion reference. Select the surface you want to use as your motion reference. Again, I'm going to do move with children. Select the actual plate. Now I see the axis is not normal to the plate, but normal to the body in this case. And then simply just translate along an axis, pulling this apart, and now I'm finished. Now to clear that, I can go up to references and actually clear, remove the movement reference. And now what I could do is just select, in this case, the bolts. And I see the axis now will be aligned to the bolts that I'm going to translate, or in this case, pull apart. In this case, I'm just going to select the two, two bolts and not the cover plate, as I did in the previous step. Okay, And I translated those. Now the last example here is actually the shaft. So I can select the shaft in this example and then pull the shaft apart in this example. Now what I'm seeing is, the movement of these other elements, these are moving because options is still checkmarked to move with children. So be careful when you move and, and you select things that you actually deselect all of those settings. And now I've actually moved and pulled apart all of those components. Now if I want to show cosmetic lines of how these components were pulled apart, I could use my, in this case, my cosmetic line tool and simply select surfaces, axes, points of where you want a line to appear. So in this case maybe I'd like a line to appear from this surface of the bolt to the surface of the hole. Maybe I'd like a line to appear from the inner part of the shaft to the inner part of the handle. Now these lines that appear, they can be modified so you can select them in this case, right click and I can edit the line, modify the line, remove the line. So I can change the line style, the font, the color, um, a variety of different techniques you can use to actually modify these. In this case, I'm just going to drag the actual line down in this example. You can also pick points. So let's say I would like to show a line 
in this case a cosmetic line from the internal part of the cavity of the body part to the back of the let's say center of the plate so I can just select that point and I'll create in this case a cosmetic line going right to that point and I can keep going and adding and adding and adding these various lines Okay, once I'm done with this, I'll complete the explode tool. Again, green check marker, just middle mouse click. And what I'll do is save the status. So I'll save the status of the exploded view. Just right click and save and give it the same name if I want. Now one other method, one other thing I would want to do is create an orientation. So how you would like this to be oriented on your, let's say, sheet when you place it for creating your bomb, your balloons, your bill of materials, etc. So I'm going to orient this and I have a view called 3D. But maybe I'd like to make a new view, in this case not called 3D, but called Explode. So I'm going to right click and save this view. It'll give me the ch chance, in this case, to update that or give it a new name. I'm going to call it Explode. So no matter what I do now, if I spin this around and it's at a different orientation, I can always come back and actually select Explode, and it'll go back to that view. Now the last part is the animation. So you have a couple options on how you would like to animate this. Uh, one would be to explode it all at once. Another would be in sequence of how you pulled it apart. In this case, for this example today, we're just going to explode all of these pieces at once. So if, to explode this, you can either double click the explosion or right click and just choose explode. All the components go together and vice versa. All the components come apart. Now this explosion can be taken into the animation editor of Creo. You can animate this, add frames, um, change the frames, add other sequences um, to basically produce an animation out to a WAV file and AVI file for uh, use in other areas. So again, very flexible, very easy to use, uh, and a multitude of different ways you can actually accomplish uh, your tasks by either right clicking or using the functions on the ribbon across the top. Again, Creo Parametric, very flexible, very, very uh, intuitive, very easy to use. Thanks again.